Okay. Uh, paano mag-add ng uh, section? Nawala dun sa section database dito sa RAM connection. So, RAM connection 11.0 yung gamit ko. Okay, ito yung latest release uh, <coughs> ng, ng RAM connection. Okay, ang uh, gagawin mo lang dyan, punta ko dito sa section. Okay, then mag-create ka ng uh, section ng group mo, no? yun ang first step. Okay, so ang first step, uh, meron ditong default Australia, uh, Brazil, Canada, etc. US. Uh, then, para ma-create ka ng group mo, okay, so click mo tong uh, itong tools na to, add new group. Then, i-type mo lang yung, uh, yung company name mo. Dito, let's say, okay, JP section. Okay. Then, section X, let's say. So, click OK. So, may group ka na. Okay. So, after nyan, click mo to. Yung new table. Then, uh, lagay natin dito. Ang name is built up. Okay. Then, type. Okay. So, lahat ng section na to pwede mong i-built up. Okay. So, uh, depende sa gusto mong dimensions. Okay. Pwede mong i-add. Sa RAM connection, so may T, may double angle, uh, may SHS, RH, uh, RHS, uh, uh, CHS, uh, may round bar, uh, may solid, uh, rectangular bar, so may double channel back to back. Okay? So anyway, uh, since I ang gagawin natin na section, so, i-click mo natin itong JP underscore I. So, pwede yan. Pwede rin itong build up. Pwede rin itong BW. Uh, pero, uh, mas prepare ko ito. Okay. So, kung gusto mo naman ng tapered member. Okay. So, uh, web, uh, members with web, uh, web tapered section. So, pwede ito TP or tapered I. Okay. So, pero ito gagamit natin. JP underscore I. Click OK. So, build up. Okay, so pagkatapos niyan, mag a tayo ng item. Okay. So, unit system SI. Uh, uh, ang name ko bali dito is W400 by 200 by 6 by 8. So, 400. Ganito ko nininim yung mga built-up section. Okay. 400 yung depth. Then, yung width ng planche is 200. Web thickness is 6. And yung planche thickness is 8 mm. So, height. So, 400. Uh, yung B ko is 200. Uh, thickness ng web is 8. Ano na? 6. Thickness ng plunge is 8. Okay. So, radius kung meron man. So, ikikip ko lang nito na 0. So, click OK. Ito na yung first section natin. So, magdagdag pa ako ng isa pa. So, pwede mong lagyan niya ng uh, kahit ilan. So, click ulit itong new item. So, yung next ko is W600 by 250 by 8 by 12. Okay. Take note, no? Pag nag-name kayo ng section dito, kailangan may space. Doon sa W, then may space, then 600, and so on. So, height 600, 250. Thickness is 8. Okay, and plunge is 12. Okay, kung may, uh, hindi ko alam kung ano yung radius na, na muna gustong gamitin. So anyway, kikip ko lang yung na 0, pero pwede mong lagyan ng value. Just click OK. Click, close. Okay, so itry ngayon natin sa connection design. So let's say simple shear connection. So click lang natin to new. Uh, then BG for beam girder. Okay. BCF is beam column plunge. Okay, yung beam connected sa plunge. Yung BCW is beam column web. Yung beam na connected sa column web. Yung BG is beam girder. Okay. Uh, beam connected to girder or beam to beam connection. Then BS is uh, beam splice. CS is uh, column splice. CC is column cup. Okay. Uh, then CBB is column beam brace. 
uh, sa bracing ito, beam, column, tsaka brace connected. Uh, then CBR is Chevron connection. Okay, yung inverted B na connection. BXB is vertical X bracing. So, uh, yung connection, let's say, sa intersection ng, ng, ng uh, angle bracing. And CB is column base. So, it, dito yung base plate. Okay, so BG gagamitin natin, beam builder. So, yung beam section natin, gamitin natin yung ginawa natin kanina. So, J, under JP section X, so 400 by 200 by 6 by 8. So, click OK. Then, yung girder natin, mas malaki. So, J, under JP section X, so yan. Click OK. Then, material, uh, let's say, punta tayo sa US, so A36, A572, o A992. Anyway, for example, A36 yung gamitin. Dito din, A36. Pero actually, pwede mong i-copy and paste lang ito. Papunta dito. Okay, para hindi ka na mag, uh, mag, mag mimili dyan sa pull down uh, menu. Okay. Kahit itong section, kung parehong section ng beam and girder, pwede mo lang i-copy and paste yan. Okay. Setback, 10mm. Okay, so yung ito yung yung gap between beam to gear belt. Okay? Then, may loads. Ngayon, punta tayo sa loads. Okay? So, since shear connection lang ito, uh, let's say, um, loads codes. For example, uh, 100 uh, kN. Okay? Then, may axial ka, let's say, na 25 kN. So, wala tayong moment. Shear connection lang ito. Yan. So, ito na. Okay? So, makikita nyo dito sa uh, right-hand side, beam 400. Ito yung built-up section na ginawa natin. Okay? Then, uh, punta na tayo sa design. So, mamili ka lang anong design code yung gamitin mo. Ayan. So, supported nyan. AISC, BS, and Eurocode. Okay? Uh, then, click mo lang Okay. Then, so gamitin ko na lang AIC 10 LRFD. So, assign. Then, punta ako. Uh, may dalawasing type ng connection. Basic and smart connection. Uh, pag yung basic, uh, ang gagawin ko pag ginamit mo, let's say, basic connection, basic SP. Ang gagawin ni RAM connection dyan is, uh, mamimili lang siya doon sa available connection database na magsusut doon sa uh, design forces. Kumbaga, uh, meron ng 100 connection database para sa shear connection. So, one by one, by trial and error, mamimili yung program kung ano yung magsusut dun sa design forces na in-input mo. Ngayon, mas gusto kong ginagamit yung smart connection. Kasi pag ginamit mo yung smart connection, mas optimize yung design. So, unlike basic connection, nagta-trial and error siya sa smart connection, I-check -check niya one by one. So, walang database. So, kumbaga, uh, hindi siya gagamit ng database. So, i-optimize lang niya yung mga uh, calculation criteria. Okay. Uh, smart connection. Then, click ko smart SP. SP for single plate. Okay. Sa AISC. Pag British kasi pin plate ang, ang tawag nila dyan. So, S smart SP. Okay. Then, click close. Ayan. So, ayun na, na-design. Ito yung beam natin. Ito yung uh, uh, girder natin. 400 and 600. So, 0.62 yung ratio niya. Okay? Kung gusto mong reviewin yung calculation, so, double click mo to. Double click. <coughs> Ayan. Okay? So, kung gamit mo yung 10.0, iba yung interface niya sa 11.0. Uh, mas gusto ko itong latest okay? kesa dun sa 10 okay? so makita nyo 0.62 then pagpunta mo ng DXF DXF view pwede mo itong export sa uh, <coughs> sa AutoCAD okay? para hindi ka na mag drop bigay mo na lang sa draftsman then edit na lang niya yung, uh, yung detail then <coughs> meron ka ng connection detail so, napakabilis hindi mo na kailangan mag accent ng oras sa pagdadrop pa nito Okay, so, pwede mo pang i-change itong mga dimensions na to. Okay? Kasi op uh, optimize ang bigay ni RAM connection eh. So, gawin ko itong 125. Okay. 
Actually, yung design niya sa plate, 6mm lang. Okay. Then, bolts niya is uh, 3 port, 3 to 5N. Then, tatlong bolts. Okay. Then, ito pwede ko itong gawing 75, 3 inch. Ito naman 40. Usually, 40 yung ginagamit ko sa mga edge distance ko sa design. Then, uh, weld size. Okay. Take note. Weld size, ang gamit lagi ni RAM connection dyan is by 16 inch. So, pag nakalagay dito 3, Ibig sabihin niyan is 3 sixteenth. So, pag dinivide 3, divide 16 times to 5.4. So, around 5 mm yan. 5 mm weld. Okay. <coughs> so, mukhang okay na itong connection uh, natin. And nakita niyo, from 0.60 to naging 0.58. So, every time na may change kayo dito sa, uh, sa details dito, nag-update uh, nag yung connection accordingly. Okay, uh, let's say, kung gawin ko kaya itong 16mm lang. So, nakita nyo, naging 0.69. Actually, 16mm kaya pa. Okay? So, pwede, pwede pa. Uh, kaya, kasi M20 ang initial design niya. Then, uh, 0.69. Pwede pa. So, pag punta natin sa results, sinan natin. Pwede mo rin ilagay yung company logo mo rito. Uh, okay. Nag-fail siya sa bolt shear. Okay. 0.69. Bolt shear. Dito yung pinaka-critical eh. Bolt shear. So, 0.69. Ayan. Okay. Uh, ano yung next doon? 0.69, 0.55 sa black shear and sa bolt bearing. No? Uh, kung i-change, kaya natin ito ng uh, let's say, tingnan nga natin ito kung gawin natin, let's say, for trial for ano lang, uh, testing for test click okay naging 0.58 so tinasa natin yung uh, bolt diameter ang naging critical niya ngayon yung bolt bearing under shear load so kanina bolt shear no ngayon dito na sa so, bolt bearing under shear load okay so balik na lang natin sa 16 okay yun so pagpunta mo ng calculation so Very basic yung calculation for review purposes. Pero pag gusto mo nang isubmit ito for review purposes ng uh, peer reviewer or ng consultant, so i-click mo lang ito, view formulas. Ayan, so very detailed yung calculation. Okay? May mga references pa yan. Uh, depende dun sa uh, code na ginamit mo. Ayan. Then, yun, export mo lang ng Excel or Word or directly print mo lang itong uh, calculation na to. Through PDF or direct mo sa printer. So, ito naman na iseset up itong logo na ito ng company nyo. Okay, so close ko lang to. Then, click save. Okay, then, yun. So, kung gusto mo naman i-customize yung logo ng calculation, so punta ka lang dito. Then, Uh, general configuration ayun so punta ko sa print then assign logo okay so click mo lang tong assign logo then uh, okay may option ko na dyan na i-change yung yung uh, logo don sa report okay then pwede mo rin i-change yung level ng detail ng report so may mga options dito okay so click okay yun so yan, so yun ang basic RAM connection tutorial plus yung pag-add ng uh, section. Okay, see you for more videos. Thank you.